Okay, so I am back and before the video starts, it's greatly appreciated. When you went to Rack Zone, please like, comment, and subscribe. So in this video, we have a few things. We have Tommy and Asian Doll. We have, uh, who is this? Oh, Jelly Bean and Tasiki and her boyfriend or husband. We have Meepo and Tink. We have J.O. and Dolly. And Big Kiva with Meatball as well. Okay, so this whole Tommy and Asian thing, right? So, I don't know if y'all know me personally. I know. So, I honestly, I don't remember. I don't know what boy it was after. I, I, damn. Who was it? I don't remember. It was after she got out of a relationship with some boy. And she was like, on my knees, I'm never dating or getting a nigga again. Something like that, right? So, it's been like this ongoing joke. Every time we see her with a new man, it's... Oh my God, I hope the niece is okay. Somebody go check on the knees. Blah, blah. It's been this joke for like a very long time. Now, Asian Doll, she got this new man, right? Well, I don't know if he's new or not. I, I think he's new to like social media, okay? So she got this new man and Hollywood Unlocked, I think, reposted them kissing or some shit like that. And Tommy was like, someone go check on the knees or how is the knees doing? Now, like I said, this joke has been a joke for a very long time, probably over a year. I'm pretty sure over maybe. It's a good chance. But when she said the joke, it was people that found it very disrespectful. They like Tommy, Asian Doll just lost her niece and stuff like that. Now, Asian Doll, she just lost two family members, if I'm not mistaken. So people are saying Tommy is, is wild or crazy or very disrespectful because she felt like they they felt like she was disrespecting Asian Doll family members that passed away. Like, it was this whole thing. A bunch of blogs just reposting it. Then Asian Doll, right? She made a tweet. And I'm not going to lie. I'm so glad she made this tweet before I made this video because... I, I feel like it was about to be me versus everybody in the world. Because I was looking at some of the comments or the blogs. And when I say everybody was against Tommy, everybody was saying she was wrong and stuff like that. Me personally, I'm in my head. I'm thinking, but this been a joke. I don't think she was being disrespectful. People wasn't seeing it that way. So now if I went and got on the video saying that, I, I thought people was going to be on my head. But Asian Doll, she went and made this tweet. And I'm so glad she did. So Asian Doll said, I don't think Tommy meant shit about saying that under that post. Everybody knows she cracks jokes all day. I didn't think she meant to like speak down on her family members that passed away. Because in my head, I was like, what if Tommy just didn't know? You know? Or what if Asian Doll got more than one niece? <laughs> like, I didn't I didn't take it bad at all. Like, I, I took it as the same joke that we've been hearing for, for, for I don't even know how long. But a lot of people wasn't seeing it that way. So um, if I went and said how I felt, which is basically what Asian Doll, well, kind of what Asian Doll said, and I feel like tussling. So the original tweet of Asian Doll family member that passed away was, my baby cousin really gone, man. My heart is broken. Right? And then Asian Doll, she made the tweet saying she said niece, not cousin. So the niece and the cousin is not even the same person. Basically, it was just a misunderstanding. Oh, that, that, well, that's what I see. It was just a misunderstanding. And I don't think Tommy meant, like, anything disrespectful, especially, like, to the people that passed away. So next we have Jelly Bean. If you don't know who Jelly Bean is, she is on Baddies Cook. Well, yeah, she's on Baddies, duh. But she is the one who snuck Callie for Natalie. And she's the one who got into it with Mariah and Tasiki. Okay, now, you may, well, you're not going to ask that shit, but if you don't know, um, Tzatziki and Jelly Bean, Tzatziki mad because Jelly Bean, Tzatziki said Jelly Bean was in her husband's section for Bad vs. Wild. Now, she said this on a TV show. I thought that section was just VIP only, did not know that was only Tzatziki's section, but that's what she said, so. Like, no one corrected her in the confessionals when she said it in the confessionals. I don't know if that shit true. I, I, I literally thought it was just for VIP people, okay? So, Jelly Bane, she made a post or a comment or something, right? And it said, y'all just keep the lies entertained, I see. It was no one section but VIP section of Wild and Out. Well, Bad vs. Wild, y'all know. It belongs to Nick Cannon. Anyone who was VIP could be in that section. And there's two sets of couches up there. The couch that her people were standing, not even on the couch, which I didn't even know her people were at the time but whatever despite they were standing in front of the couch glorilla and her team was sitting at no one came before glorilla as far as having a place to sit in a section okay um any anyone else could sit or stand anywhere they please in the vip section as long as they are vip meanwhile there was no moving because the cameraman for glorilla team and her team or glorilla and her team camera facing the couch kept having us move down and bunch up so they could have room Everyone was trying to see the stage. No one wanted your man. No one even knew who he was. The end. Now, a, a while ago, Jelly Bean also mentioned how uh, how we could hear Tzatziki saying get away from her man on stage. But that's because they had her mic up. But in the building, you couldn't hear that. I, I think that's what they say. Then in like a conceit, casino or hotel or whatever the fuck they said, uh, Tzatziki and Jelly Bean, they spoke. Jelly Bean said um, they squashed whatever beef it was. Tzatziki said nothing was squashed. So 
Who knows? What I want to know is if Natalie was there. Because if Natalie was there, hey, Natalie, did they squash it in that casino or no? Like, did they leave on a better foot than what they started, you know? Did they come to an understanding? That's what we need to know. Me personally, I think this whole shit is stupid, right? And a lot of people like, well, y'all say Tzatziki boring, but when she do something, it's a problem. But, okay, look, I'm going to say the same thing I kind of said about E.T. last season. At least make it make sense. So her, but to me, it don't really make sense. To her, it makes sense, okay? So that's the, yeah. Honestly, I feel like this is dumb. I feel like it's a lot of miscommunication. I feel like a lot of things was just going overboard, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure Jelly Bean wasn't the only person... Well, I don't know. She was mad because Jelly Bean was standing beside her man. It's not that deep, though. Like, damn. And you think? I don't think so. Now, what I will say, that it's not just everyone against the Seeky in this situation. There is a lot of people that understands where she's coming from. So, I guess this ain't totally crazy. Because if it was just totally crazy, I think everybody would be against it. Right? Well, no. Don't that just make y'all crazy, too? <laughs> yeah, that's my conclusion. Because y- y'all are crazy. Because y'all telling me a lady stood next to y'all boyfriend and y'all was ready to beat her the fuck up. Like, the, she she got laid down. Jelly Bean got laid down and punched on by Mariah. I'm done. Mariah punching you. Not like, not like making fun of Jelly Bean, but like, can y'all imagine Mariah Lynn punching y'all? <laughs> Girl, what? Now, the blog that posted the stuff Jelly Bean said, cool clues, if that's not how you say it, my bad. But they also posted pictures of that night, okay? So this right here is Tzatziki's husband standing next to Jelly Bean. Y'all know that's going in the thumbnail, right? <laughs> yeah. Then it was two men standing next to Tzatziki's husband. And one of them was Armand Wiggins. Right? And then this one is Tzatziki man left. The, the last one was Tzatziki man left the section during the fight. And it says, peep how many people are even in the section. Y'all, it was a lot of people in there. I don't think Jelly Bean was being disrespectful in any type. I really feel like this whole shit was being blown out of proportion. Yeah, that's it. Actually, someone who's like on Tzatziki's side with this situation. Can y'all kind of like... Explain how y'all feel about it. And don't just say, uh, she better not stand next to my man. Either. I don't want to hear that. Can you, like, actually explain how you feel? Also, another question. This has nothing to do with the situation. But question. Do y'all watch more than one, like, Zeus type of blog that they give their opinions? And, like, y'all watch two different blogs that have to- two totally different opinions? Like, on Instagram, I think I watch three different boys and all their opinions be different from each other. And I watch one lady on TikTok. I don't really know. Her name. Love her, though. Like, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I, it's like for them to be so different, especially with the way they think, I, I still be watching all four of them. I feel like Zeus could definitely have a podcast thing like the, the auntie shit with, like, the blog boys and girl about, you know, baddies and Zeus and all the drama and stuff. Then we have Meatball. So Meatball, she was on live. Uh, she talked about a couple of things, but this specific clip, uh, she was talking about Tink, right? And she was like, Tinker really confused her a lot of the times during filming. She was like, one minute her and Tink is arguing, they don't like each other. The next minute, Tink is ready to fight for her. And then the next minute, they back not liking each other. They had me angry. Like, I was, yo, bro, they had me angry. Tink, yo, Tink came out the room talking about, what's up? What, what's up? Who on what? Who on what? Yeah, what's up? I'm like, wait, hold on, hold on. We was just arguing. Now you rocking for me. But she don't fuck with me now. Hold on, 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 hold on. Are you my friend or what? Like, what the fuck? I just don't understand. Talking about you was my protector. You was not my protector, bro. You was rocking for me because he ain't had no choice but to rock for me, bro. I never said, Tank, you gonna rock with me when I... In my opinion, they kind of sound like sisters. You know, y'all don't really fuck with each other right now, but uh, y'all could team up and, you know what I'm saying? Uh, The thing is, I don't really know their dynamic like that. I also don't know if they was, like, faking on each other in front of, you know, the girls. Like, I really need to know, like, the situation. I really can't wait for that storyline to pop up, bro. I've been waiting. This is taking from Anyway, next we have J.O., Kiva, and Wendali, right? So they don't laugh, and they talking about... We did not jump meatball. No, I'm like, who the fuck said y'all did? What are you talking about? Because I did not see these type of rumors. I go in the comments, everybody like, well, who the fuck said y'all did? We don't know. So, like, the way they was talking, it was like they're saying, it, the way they was talking, it was like they was responding to meatball. So, I'm going to just have to assume that meatball said she got jumped. I don't know. I, I didn't see no one post meatball saying she got jumped, though, okay? Now, J.O., she was like, she wants to smoke with meatball family now. Okay. Uh, She also said... I was actually trying to feed her. Now, my mind went to Meepo saying they fought about some chips. But 
what's, what's her name? J.O. said it wasn't about chips, but you said you tried to feed her. I'm starting to think it was really about chips. Now, with the chip situation, I think Meatball was in the wrong because she said she tried to apologize or she wanted to apologize or she did apologize or something, some shit like that. I want to I, I wanna know exactly what happened with the chips, bro. So here goes the life. She got beat so bad, we dumped her. Yeah, bitch, she got beat so bad, she must have been confused with the two hands that God gave you for two other bitches. But no, it was just J.O. And when right. Security grabbed your ass, first of all, first of all, I'm going to keep repeating I'm this, J.O. J.O., remember when we was in the in the sprinter and you said, I'm going to get meatball. What you said? You said nobody jump in. I want her you to sure myself. Did. You made sure, sure that we all fucking knew that from the beginning. Exactly. You said, right yeah, before we got up that shit, you said, I want her for myself. I got this. Nobody jump in. We said, sure okay, bet. Nobody was gonna jump in. We knew you had it. We she knew you had it. She just trying to and make face from that ass off. Then. She must be getting a lot of backlash from that ass then. But that's the funny part. Like, bitch, the TV, the cameras is not not gonna lie to you. Then she talking about them bitches looking hungry. Bitch, I tried to feed you. That's why the beat was even shorter. Who see me? We just seen each other at the premiere. You had your mama. You had mama. She had like 80 people with her. It was only two of me and then the hit squad. 80 people plus some 80. And remember, she said, wait till you get to the premiere. So that's what I was, and I still came with a dress and heels on. That's how much I'm unbothered, bitch. Like, yeah, you a pussy, you. your family, whatever. She was you also, 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 let me, bitch, let me, let me point pussy now. Let me point something now. Let me point something now, real quick. Um, Who was she in the sprinter on? Who was she in the sprinter with on the way to the premiere, Kiva? Us. Us, the replacements. Uh, what are you talking about? And you saying that you didn't like none of us? That was like, what are you talking about? We was all vibing. We just be on this bitch gaslighting because she, said, she got her little her following. following like. We was vibing. She like, like she was we just see me. We just oh, she talking about bitch coming out. Bitch, if we would have came to house, bitch, you already apologized. You already apologized. So therefore, nobody <laughs> want to on your ass no more. You can't beat me. I'm not no bully, bitch. I'm on your ass. I'm on your people's ass now. Y'all remember who I was on ass? Man, you, I, that house. No, look, you had a whole conversation on the Sprinter. Nunu had to say some shit to, to her people, and we both, like, look, we already, uh, yeah, we know. We already told. She told us, like, shit, I was going to ask J.O. respectfully. I'm going to have to take the pay for her. And shit, my bitch said shit, she was coming for you anyway. Fuck you talking about? And then she said, well, now I wish that J.O. was here because this shit, da 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 Blah, blah, blah. We'll get to that later. But yeah, it, it, yeah. We already, they, the motherfuckers who knew, knew. Even Tinkerbella. No. <laughs> Anyway, so this new episode that's coming out, I think we're getting Kiva versus Tank. Can't wait to see that. Uh, who else? Oh, we got Jelly Bean and Tasiki. Yo, but I'm gonna keep saying this shit for them to be replacements. They getting a lot of screen time. I don't know what they was complaining about. JL was on live complaining about how she not in the house and stuff like that. It's like, girl, we, we seeing a lot of you if you ask me. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, that's it for this video. If you ask me, this video was kind of mid. Like, it wasn't no crazy shit, compared, especially compared to yesterday, bro. But it wasn't like nothing, you know, like just extravagant that happened, you know? Um, But I still, I hope you still liked it, though. So if you found this video interesting, and I hope you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications on. Thank you.